And secondly, God favored me to a man I've not seen before. I don't know him. Towards the end of the third service, he asked me to give him my account number. And he favored me right in the fourth service. I received a lot. Praise the Lord Church. My name is Photo Teresa. My testimony is on healing and financial fever. I came to service on Sunday with a sharp pain on the left side of my breast. And while Papa was using the young man for illustration, God healed me of that sharp pain. And secondly, God favored me through a man I've not seen before. I don't know him. Towards the end of the third service, he asked me to give him my account number and he favored me right in the fourth service. I received a lot of six figures. I return all glory to God. Name of all this people. God is... After my thesis defense last year, 2023, I discovered a course I did in year two was no longer in my portal, but was at the missing part of my portal. And this has given me a lot of concern. So, because I was going to have an extra year because of the course. Then I said doing midnight prayer and engage in online money devotion as an area of my concern. And to the glory of God, on Friday, the result was uploaded and my brother has turned green. I've gone to be My name is Helen Chris and my testimony is on academic success. Last month, I took part in the West African College of Physicians exam. And this exam can be quite challenging. So I prayed and I sowed as regards that course. As God could have it, I was amongst the few that passed the exam, and I'm here to give God all the glory. O oh God, early will I seek thee. Psalms 63 verse 1a. Start your day in the refreshing presence of God, and get empowered to face the demands of the day. Join the online morning devotion every Monday to Saturday via any of our streaming platforms at 7 a.m. GMT plus one and experience the power of God in your life. I declare clear demarcation. The suffering and hardship on earth right now. You be exempted in the name of Jesus. Uh, my name is Nadine Oweyezu. I'm from Rwanda, Kigali, Rwanda. And... Um... Ever since I joined the online morning devotion in July, I've experienced great breakthroughs. Um, my sister got a job and then my... Uh Hallelujah. If you're excited to be in the day one, April week of Sutra Empowerment Church in the house, make a joyful noise. I know that the God of David Bume has blessed you with testimonies. Kindly utilize the information on your screen to share your testimonies. God was speaking in Daniel chapter 11 and verse 32b. But the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. You will appreciate God for his wisdom coming away via his word that will cause us to do greater exploits. Raise a voice and appreciate God. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, for we are beyond measure, as Tony said, the Lord has done all things well. Father, we thank you for the wisdom that is coming away via your word that will cause us to do greater exploits. Father, we give you all the glory. Be the exalted for wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our time. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I appreciate God is faithful. And for he is God and God alone. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Now on to the land, the lamb upon the throne. We raise a sound.
precious name. Please endeavor to share the links to your friends. Hallelujah. The Bible speaking in Genesis 12 and verse 2, and I will make thee a great nation and I will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing. You will thank God for advancing salvation, ministry's home fellowship and for multiplying her greatly. Lift your voice and appreciate the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we give you praise and glory. We magnify your name, precious Lord, for advancing salvation, ministries, home, fellowship, and for multiplying her greatly. Lord, we say thank you. The Bible says it is the Lord that advanced Moses and Aaron. Lord, we thank you for advancing, promoting, expanding, and magnifying their own fellowship centers of salvation, ministries across the nations of the earth. The Bible says it shall come to pass in the last day that the mountain of the Lord's house, speaking of salvation, ministries, home, fellowship centers, shall be established across the nations of the earth. Lord, we thank you for establishing and exalting the salvation of this soul fellowship across the nations of the earth. It said in this world that out of all shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry. I will multiply them. There shall not be few. Lord, we thank you for multiplying salvation of this fellowship centers across the nations of the earth in the name 
of Jesus Christ. In 2 Kings 19 and verse 34. For I will defend this city to save it for my own sake and for my servant David's sake. He will clear Satan from setting up any attack against salvation, ministry, soul, fellowship across the globe. He will decree all of peace and protection over all our whole fellowship centers. Raise your voice, pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, in certain as one, that I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against her. Violence shall never be hard in the land, where sin and destruction will then the border. Any attempt of the devil to carry out his ministry of killing or stealing and destruction within and around salvation, ministry, soul, fellowship centers, the blood of Jesus Christ is against you. God said in this word that I will encamp about my house as against the army, as against the person born, against the returning. The oppressed of the devil shall not pass through anymore. Satan, the devil, any attempt of yours to gain access or attack salvation ministries, or fellowship centers across the nations of the earth will rebuke you, the devil, will come against your device. God said in this word, I was purpose to the their power. He made a show of them openly. The Lord of Jesus Christ, destroy your walls, destroy your agenda against salvation machines, all fellowship centers across the nations of the earth. The blood of Jesus Christ, destroy your world, salvation machines, all fellowship centers will continue to draw in a piece of habitation, in short dwellings, and quiet resting places in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, in Isaiah 29 and verse 14, Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among these people, even a marvelous work and a wonder. You will pray for the manifestation of incredible miracles, signs and wonders, and massive events of souls in all salvation races, all fellowship centers. Raise your voice, make the prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Bible speaking, it said the Lord said, Behold, I will do a thing in Israel, that both the ears that hear it shall tingle. We pray for the manifestation of ear tingling miracle, mind blowing miracle, manifestation of miracle signs and wonders, and massive events of souls in our meeting tonight as a point of contact. God said in his word that he came to pass, that while he was teaching, that the power of the Lord was present to heal. Lord, we pray that your power will manifest, even in our meeting tonight, across the centers in the of the earth in the name of Jesus Christ, he said in his word, and they were all amazed at the mighty power of God. And we are standing at the evidence of God's mighty power, his majesty, and his magnificent. Lord, we pray for the display of your power, we pray for the display of your magnificent, your glory in our summit tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ. And the Lord God shall save them in that day as the flock of his people. Lord, we pray that there will be massive events of soul in our meeting tonight, as your servant will be that the altar call. We ask the Holy Spirit that you pick the heart of men, convict them, take away the stony heart from them, and give them the heart of flesh in the name of Jesus Christ. And lastly, in this section, in Job 22 and verse 28, and thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. He will decree that salvation ministries, home fellowship centers, will dominate all nations of the world, and every force resisting her be crushed to pieces. It's supposed to be in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, at the mention of that name, Jesus Christ, the Bible says everything in earth and beneath the earth was bow. We take our authority in the name of Jesus Christ. Every force from the pit of darkness, from the nation that want to hinder the expansion, the entrance, dominion, the impact and relevance of the whole fellowship arm of salvation ministry will rebuke you, will come against your world. It shall not stand, that it shall come to pass. God said in his word that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against the parties and against power against lots of darkness spiritual weakness in high place every force that want to contend with the entrance the dominion and the impact of the self-worship arm of salvation mission it shall not stand that it shall come to pass salvation mission of fellowship arm will express expansion and dominion across the nations of the earth in jesus precious name is a faithful god consciously appreciate him father we thank you celebrate the mighty god in jesus name Praying for God's servant David, he and his family. God's word declares in 1 Corinthians 15 verse 10, But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain. You will thank God for his manifold grace upon David, he resulting in the multiplication and spread of salvation ministries, home fellowship arm. Raise your voice, appreciate God Almighty. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, but by the grace of God, I am what I am. 
Having therefore obtained the help of God, I continue to this day. Lord, we say thank you for your manifold grace upon the life, the assignment of your servant David the Bumer. We say thank you for helping him thus far, resulting in the multiplication, the spread of the whole fellowship arm of salvation ministries. We say thank you, be the exalted mighty God, for your grace upon his life. We say thank you. We say thank you for helping him on every side and advancing him and the whole fellowship arm of salvation ministries. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name. In Isaiah 54, verse 17, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. You pray against the plans of Satan to frustrate the expectations of David if you may, for the home fellowship system of salvation ministries globally. Raise your voice, pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is written, no weapon formed against thee shall prosper, for who walk and who shall let it. The expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off. Satan, the devil, will resist you, will frustrate your plans, your devices, your schemes to hinder the expectations of David, if you may, concerning the whole free system of salvation ministers will come against you by the blood of Jesus Christ. Every device, every plan of Satan to hinder the growth, the advancement of the whole free system of salvation ministers, the blood of Jesus is against you. We come against your defenses. We frustrate your plans. We pray the expectations, the visions, the dreams of David man concerning the whole flesh system of salvation message shall come to pass. None of it shall fail. We pray this day it shall be made manifest for all to see in Jesus. Mighty name. Psalm 7 verse 11. God is angry with the wicked every day. Command God's judgment upon Satan and his agents that want to stand against the advancement of the assignment of David if you may. Raise your voice, pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is written, it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble us. For God is angry with the wicked every day. We invoke the judgment of God upon Satan, upon his agents that wants to stand to hinder the advancement of the assignment of David. Man, cast up, cast up, prepare the way, take on the stumbling block out of the way of my people. Whatever the devil intend to use to spoil as an obstacle against the advancement of the assignment of every man, the blood of Jesus destroy such works, the blood of Jesus destroy such actions of the devil. We pray the assignment of the servant of God, every man shall advance and prosper on every side in Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Finally. In Matthew 7 verse 7, ask and it shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto thee. And you will ask God to keep ushering David the man into higher dimensions of wisdom for the continuous advancement of the assignment God has placed in his hands. Raise your voice, pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is written, ask and it shall be given you. Lord, we pray this day that you keep ushering your servant, David, if you may, into higher dimensions of wisdom. For you have filled him with the Spirit of God and wisdom and knowledge and all manner of workmanship. We pray this day, let your wisdom come upon him in a higher dimension that will result to the goodness advancement of the assignment you have given to him. We pray this day, your wisdom be seen greatly in all it does. We pray this day. Let your wisdom come upon him for the goodness advancement of the assignments and his sons for all that concerns him. We pray this day, let your hand of grace and wisdom answer to him part time in Jesus' mighty name. I appreciate God is faithful. Father, we give you the glory. Be thy exalted, mighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. This section we pray for genuine attendees of our home self, home fellowship. In the book of Mark, chapter 7, verse 37, his hand were beyond measure astonished, saying he had done all things well. You appreciate God for the rest, all genuine attendees of salvation ministry, home fellowship, by enjoying on every side in finance, health, business, academics, and so on. Lift up your voice and appreciate God. Father, we give all the glory. We thank you. His hand was beyond measure astonished, saying 
He had done all things well, Lord. We appreciate you for your continuous rest, genuine attendees of Salvation Ministry Home Fellowship. I enjoy it on every side. We give out the glory. Be that exalted, mighty God. He said, Come unto me, all you that are heavenly, them, and I will give you rest. Lord, we thank you for always granting genuine attendees of Salvation Ministries all around rest in their finances, in health, in business, in academy, and so on. Lord, we give out the glory. Be that exalted. Salted mighty God in Jesus' mighty name. The book of Psalm 91, verse 10. They shall not evil before thee, neither shall any plague come near that dwelling. Malachi chapter 2, verse 5. He said, My covenant was with him of life and peace. Pray against Satan from attacking the lives, homes, businesses, careers, academies, and investment of the host, hostesses, and general attendees of salvation ministry, home fellowship. Decree peace and continuous advancement for all. Lift up your voice and pray in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, he said, For this purpose, Jesus was manifested that he might destroy all the works of the devil. In my name, we shall cast out the devil by the power in the name of Jesus. We cleanse Satan from attacking the lives, from attacking homes, businesses, careers, academies, and investment of hosts, hostesses, and attendees, including the home fellowship center, by sending up any form of destruction against our lives, against our properties. Satan, the devil. We frustrate you. He says, Shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. There shall be no loss of any man's life. We decree there shall be no loss of lives, properties, investment of the host, hostesses, of all attendees of our own fellowship. The overcame Satan by the blood of the Lamb and by the word testimony. We use the blood of Jesus to clear every destruction program against all the home fellowship centers of salvation ministries, against the host, genuine attendees. We blot it out by the blood of Jesus, we decree peace, continuous advances for all, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, mighty name. The book of Ezra 31 verse 3, is that I have filled him with the spirit of God, in wisdom and in understanding, and in knowledge in all manner of workmanship. Pray for wisdom and the right mentality for general attendees of Salvation Ministries Home Fellowship to overcome every challenge of life. Lift up your voice and pray in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, is that I will give you a mouth and wisdom where all your adversaries shall not be able to cancel nor resist. We pray for the manifestation of supernatural wisdom, right mentality for all general attendees of salvation ministries of fellowship that will cause us to do exploits in life, in career, in business. He says, Trust the law with all their hearts, lay nothing to your understanding in all their ways, acknowledge Him, Holy Spirit. We ask for wisdom, right, uh, right mentality for all attendees of salvation ministries and fellowship to cause us to overcome every challenge of life in business, in career. Holy Spirit of God, grant us wisdom that let that pass in the name of Jesus. Jesus, mighty name, it's time for personal prayers. In the book of Proverbs 18 20, he says, A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth, and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. At this point, you know what you want? Present it to God. In Jesus' mighty name, lift up your voice and I appreciate God for sending your prayer. Lord, we give you glory and praise for answers to prayers. Be it our exalted mighty God in the name of Jesus Christ. You may please be seated in God's presence. Do well to share the link of the church in your house to your friends and loved ones. Let them know this awesome encounter with destiny taking place. And God bless you mightily in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It's testimony time. Salvation Ministries Home Fellowship, Idoro Branch, Akwaivam State, Nigeria, from Chine Edidiong. 
On the 19th of February 2024, I asked my home fellowship members to pray for me concerning some money I owed, for which I was under pressure to repay. After the prayers, the Holy Spirit gave me a supernatural idea, which I implemented and was able to clear the debt of about a million naira just 10 days later. Also, my business has recently begun to record great sales. All glory to God. Amen. Salvation Ministries Home Fellowship, Mr. and Mrs. Friday James Center, Nigeria, from Grace James. In the evening on Monday last week, I felt sun like particles in my left eye, which made me uncomfortable. On day one of the March 2024 week of spiritual empowerment, the church in a house service, God someone mentioned my case during the ministration, and I screamed Amen in faith. To the glory of God, I have been perfectly made whole. Thank you, Jesus. Salvation Ministries Church, Maitama FCT Abuja, Nigeria, from Okene James. 22 years ago, I was involved in an accident that left me on crutches and with a dysfunction in my right leg. In March 2024, during the Salvation Word of Life Bible Institute's Fulvi class on living in divine health, the pastor asked us to pray about any illness we had. I prayed in faith concerning my leg, and immediately the dysfunction and associated pain disappeared. I give all the glory to God. Salvation Ministries Home Fellowship, Sister Cheryl Peter Center, Nigeria, from Samuel Adel. God's servant admonished us to start caring more with material and valuable things rather than solely indulging in feastings during our home fellowship days. I diligently obeyed. I gave out four pieces of clothing to the home fellowship members who came that day. Within five days, someone favored me mightily with eight high quality suits, two beautiful shoes, and also with cash and six figures. I return all the glory to God. Salvation Ministries Home Fellowship. Mr. and Mrs. Kevin Agogo Omokli Center, Nigeria, from Charity Ovova. Ever since I joined the Home Fellowship of Salvation Ministries Church in January 2024, I have been partaking of the communion in faith to be free from sickness, diseases, and plagues. Despite the cholera outbreak that affected all my family members, I remained exempt by divine intervention through the power of God in the communion. Indeed, God is faithful, and I give him all the glory. The same God who show himself strong and mighty on your behalf, stand to your feet, give him all the glory. Shall we lift our hands to heaven? Magnify the King of all kings to glorify his name forever. Let us go ahead and give him thanks and praise. Exalt him because no one is like him forever is on the throne. Blessed be God forever. In Jesus' mighty name. Heavenly Father, speak to us through your word. Let the word I'm about to share bless your people. In Jesus' mighty name. In your different homes, I know God will change your story. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Give me a big hand in your different homes. You may be seated. Some of you are already seated. Amen. Praise the Lord. We actually have a three days program. This week is a loaded week. Just take note of all I'm about to say this week. We normally have three days fasting and prayers with the word every month. But this particular month is unique because it's not just going to be for three days. We're going to have today church in the house. And then tomorrow we'll have church in the temple at 5 p.m. We're going to have it at 5 p.m. tomorrow in the different churches of salvation ministries. And then on Thursday, we'll have also 5 p.m. Then on Friday at 6 p.m., we have special miracle service online. That will not be in the, in the house. I will dwell mightily on healing and other areas of life, but mostly on healing. And then Saturday happens to be our church anniversary. will be 27 on Saturday. So we thank God for his faithfulness at 4 p.m. on Saturday. Then on Sunday, we have special Thanksgiving services in all our four services. So join us to celebrate and you too will celebrate in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Well, the theme is wisdom for greater exploits. Wisdom for greater exploits. That's the theme for the week of spiritual empowerment. 
Wisdom is the ability to interpret a situation through God's eyes. That's what wisdom is. Wisdom is seeing what God sees. Wisdom is seeing life from God's point of view. Now here is an well. To pass test in school, you need knowledge. But to pass the test of life, you need wisdom. Wisdom is not a substitute for knowledge. And knowledge is never a stand-in for wisdom. Each one has its role to play in your life. But you can't make it in this world without wisdom. The Bible declares in Proverbs 4 verse 7 that wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all that, get and get understanding. But do you know people don't go for wisdom? Some people will pray, 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 pray. Jesus Christ is described as the power and the wisdom of God. 1 Corinthians 1.24 So, just praying, 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 you're dwelling on one leg. And you know that's dangerous. If you stand with one leg, I tell you, your leg will pain you. No matter how powerful you are. Uh, you have to see Christians even ask God for wisdom. They are power drunk, they cast out demons, but they are very stupid. They go to the office, they fail. I pray that after this month, as you hear the teachings of this month, you will never be a mediocre in life in the name of Jesus. Many don't have value for wisdom. <laughs> but the Bible said it is the principal thing. I used one year to ask for wisdom. And I knew when God impacted me with wisdom. 1996. I, I heard the testimony of my mentor, Bishop Edebo, how about uh, Pastor Adebo, you laid hands on him for wisdom. And I craved for wisdom because I saw wisdom on display with so much ease in life to get results. That you are struggling does not mean you get more effect. And I desired wisdom. I'm not under any pressure. I'm not, I, I don't, some people if you see this as if the work of God is their own. As if they are the ones who carry the work of God. Yet, the results don't match this. The way they move, the way they, they say, our church, you know, we are building. I'm at peace. Wisdom is powerful. And I pray that this day, somebody will swim in that wisdom of God. In the name of, it said, those who do know their God, Daniel eleven thirty two, they shall be strong and do exploits. Through knowledge of God makes you do exploits. Now, for today's teaching, I'll just take two things that will make you do exploits. Just two. Tomorrow I'm going to teach something I wouldn't want you to miss. <laughs> Why is it that in the same country where some people are complaining, some people are making it? I'll tell you the reason tomorrow. Why is it that in the world some people are saying things are... You see them fearful for everything and some people are relaxed. Why? I'll tell you tomorrow. I'm going to share with you what is the secret behind it. You can't do exploits without what I'm about to share tomorrow. Ah, God can give you all the promises but if what I'm about to share tomorrow is not in you, you still fail. So don't miss tomorrow's teaching. It's going to be very explosive. It's the greatest undoing of men in the world. They have all the principles. They know all the scriptures. Yet they don't have any result to match the streets they know. Two things that will make you do explosive. Number one, who is God to you? <laughs> who is God to you? You'll be shocked. What is your idea and opinion of God? Is God a good God or a harsh father? It, many don't know anything about God. They just say, well, God, God is my father. God is God. He's God in heaven. Who is God to you? Many think they know God. They don't know him. No, you don't know him. Paul said that I may know him. So don't think you know God. No. Nah. It's only people with narrow mind that think they know enough of God. No. Who is God to you? I'm asking you that question. Let me say this to all of us. Our God is a compassionate, loving, and caring Father. I repeat. Our God is a compassionate. If you want to know God, look at Jesus. Everywhere Jesus went, the first one you say he had compassion on the people. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's and God loved his people. And God cared for his people. Do you know the nature of God is different from the nature of man? Do you know that even when they were in the wilderness and they were hungry, and he said to the disciples, give them food to eat. They said, ah, forget it. How do we give them food here? But his nature, he cares so much, he laughed at them. He said, ah, Peter, James, John, Andrew. You say, where will I get their food? They've been with me for three days. They're going to faint, by the way. That, that's how much he cares. It's if I let them go, these guys will faint. They'll be fasting here in the wilderness. Our God is a caring father. Say that. Say it, he loves me. Say it one more time. Let me say this to you. Do you know the love of God is unchanging? Satan can't make him hate you. It's too, Satan, it's too late. His love is unconditional. It's not like human love. Where today somebody can say, I love you. The next day, the person wants to kill you. I've known people who say they love you, and then tomorrow they say, let me, let, let me die. Let him die. I've seen people, I had to confront somebody who was saying he would die for a man of God. Then all of a sudden, he began to castigate him. I said, are you the same person who said you love him? Ah, I'm surprised. The person became very quiet. I said, I thought you said you love him. Now you are the one castigating, what to castigate, you want to castigate say all that to him. I said, my friend, that's why human love is full of hypocrisy, but not God's love. God's kind of love is such a your father does not love you. I'll show you a scripture that will baffle you. Jeremiah 31, verse 3. Look at it. Everyone, look at Jeremiah 31, verse 3. It's in the Lord that appeared of old unto me. Personalize it to yourself. Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Underline it. He said he loves you not with a four-time love. Eight-year love. He loves you with an everlasting love. Did you hear that? Therefore, with loving kindness have I joined thee. So his love is not conditional. It's not the love of three times. It's not the love of one week. It's not the love of... ah. He said your first perspective is that look, God loves me. You know, I've heard people say Nobody loves me in this world. If nobody loves you, just know God loves you. Are you getting now? I have to say nobody ever loves me. Now, in case nobody loves you, settle it in your heart that God loves you. And if God loves you, that's enough. Are you getting me? Never in your life say nobody loves me. If you ever say nobody loves you, look at the scripture. Just know God loves you. And if God loves you, forget it. I don't care who hates you. Are you getting me? That's the first, if you want to do it, because your perspective of God matters a lot. We have earthly parents who might treat us, who he treated us, who showed us wickedness, who spoke to us. So we think that God is like that. No, our God is a loving God. When the prodigal son, Jesus gave the parable of the prodigal son. When the prodigal son was coming, the Bible said the father had compassion on him. That's how God is. One day when they were, I was privileged with my wife to be in Billy Graham's funeral in the United States of America. And it's not that she had a very touching testimony. Very touching testimony. She had a marriage that was broken. So she felt disappointed because they told her, won her. So she felt that was the end of her life. Considering that she was a daughter of a very great, known global man of God. And then she said she couldn't even come home. She was afraid to get home. She was full of fear that if she go home, what will happen? Then said she some of courage like the prodigal son and began to come. Said the day she was coming, the father stood by the door and waited for her. She was looking at his face, thinking that he was going to shout, rebuke her, to scold her. He just opened his hands and embraced her. She said that was the day she became broken. She had a 360 degrees. That was the turning point of her life. He said she saw practical love demonstrated sometimes words cannot do what actions we do we talk about love love god is a loving father that's the first thing you should know about god are you getting me sir now number two if you want to do exploits know your true identity know your true what i'm going to teach very simple abc here a, B, C, this one. <laughs> you think you know your identity. You'll be shocked. I'm not going to be complex this teacher. I'll also break it down. 
Now, 2 Corinthians 5, 17, even those who are not born again know the scripture. Shall we together? Therefore, if any man be in Christ is a new creature, all things are passed away. Behold, all things have become what? New. If any man you were originally created in the image of God. Genesis 1 to 6. He said, let us make man in our own image. Genesis 1 to 6. So you were originally created in the image of God. Is that true? But Satan corrupted that nature by sin. But Jesus came and recreated you. That's if any man being Christ is a new creature. So you were recreated. By Jesus. Hear this and hear me well. There is a transplant of life at new birth. Where human life was replaced with everlasting or eternal life. You know a scripture, everybody knows it, but I'm going to open your eyes. When you gave your life to a Jesus, at the point you became born again, your life changed. Everything about you changed. Now listen. You don't have a human life. You don't have God's kind of life. Shall we read John 3.16? Don't rush it. I know you know it, but do you understand it? Let's read together. For God, take note. For God so loved the nature where we read, he loved the world. That what? His only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in the son should not perish, but have what? Let me ask you a question. Which life do you have now? No, you read that scripture. I know you know it. Of, of, of hand. Which life do you have now? Everlasting life. <laughs> Is that not your Bible? Read your, I know you know it, but you just quote it. For God's love, the one, you gave it because son, that was led here. He said, If you have received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, you have everlasting life. And that life is the very life of God. I mean, understand it. I mean, understand. That life is called eternal life. It's called what? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth, as if you believe and accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, you shall not perish, but have what? So you don't have an ordinary life. You have what? Once you receive Christ into your life, God's kind of life is at work in you. So, if God's life is at work, it means God's abilities become inherent in you. Are you getting me, sir? When COVID came, I used that scripture to teach one day and scale open. From, and everybody was saying, you know, COVID is everywhere. You don't, don't people are even shaking like this. A man of God came to my office and did like this. I didn't shake him. He did like this. I didn't shake him. I felt so embarrassed. I said, how can I shake you like this? He said, no, pastor, how are you? He did like this. I kept my hands in my pocket. I didn't shake him. I felt insulted. I said, what, how will I take my shoe? Where, where did they hear that? You shake it. You shake it. You know, this Igbo shaking became global shaking. Everybody was doing like this. Very embarrassing. Even some of you told you, you did your hand like this. If somebody sneezes, everyone will look at it. You're afraid. I, now, you're not sneezing. Are they, is it killing people? You are sneezing now, now. That if you sneeze, you know, but listen, the Bible declares that if you accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, you have God's kind of life. Let me ask you a very simple question. Can you have God's kind of life and sickness stay in you? Can you have God's kind of life and death terminate you? You don't have human life. You have his life. So witches can't terminate, you know, Wisdom is the ability to see things as God sees them. That's our wisdom. Wisdom is, uh, God said, I gave you my life. I gave what? So the life you have now is my life. That's wisdom. Now listen. Okay. Let me come again. I said, I will make it so simple. I want to get hold of God's word and know who you are. John 3, verse 6. I'm breaking it into ABC. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. You know what? That which is born of human is human. That which is born of the spirit, see capital S, 
is spirit. It is a that which one of the spirit is spiritual. It is a, so. It is a, that which is born of the spirit is spirit. That spirit is God. How do I know? John four twenty four. God is what? Look at the capital S. God is what? So that which is born of that capital S is who? He said that which is born of God is God. That, that paraphrases. God is a spirit. Not God was a spirit. God is a spirit. And then I was was a spirit and it's truth. So if you are born again, you are not spiritual. You are a spirit. You are not a spiritual being. You are what? A spirit. Oh my God. I pray your eyes will open. So whatever can't happen to God can't happen to you. Say so. A simple understanding. Simple what? That's wisdom. If God cannot be molested, then I can't be molested. If God is not dull, I can't be dull. If God is not stupid, I can't be stupid. If God is not a failure, I can't be a failure. It's not prayer affair, so it's to have understanding. It's a God has delivered us from the kingdom of darkness and has led to the kingdom of his dear son. Colossians 1.13 at new birth, you are translated from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of the son. You are a spirit in the same class as God. Sir, so here. Now, I'm going to close with two scriptures and then your life will just change. Sir, so <laughs> Oh, my God. Who are you? You are a spirit being? Huh? Are you like God? You know? Somebody say, well, if I'm God, then why am I sitting in the room? Was Jesus physical? Was Jesus physical? Then why did he say, I and my father are one? He was saying, even if you see me physical, what I carry on the inside is God. It was the only one that was the son of God. Now today, he has made us sons and daughters of God. True? Then it was only him. He said, if you have seen me, you have seen the father. Why did he say so? When he has eyes, he was eating food. But he was saying, look, don't mind that I eat food with you. I'm not in the same class with you. That was why they could not kill him. He voluntarily gave himself to be slaughtered. When they came, they fell. You, if you are conscious of that, no devil can kill you. You can't fail. You can't, you can't, anything God can do, you will do. Now listen. If God is a spirit and is in you, do you know when you lay hands, it will be God laying hands. That's why when you lay hands on the sick, they must be healed. Because God, you, you oh God. People just think born again is to come to church. We are born again. We are born again. Yes, we are born again. Holy Ghost, we are born again. Amen. Ah, it's beyond that. To be, that's why it's an abuse to redemption for you to be born again and enter the cult. Because you can't carry the life of God and then go and bow down to the devil. That's why when a born again child is in the cult, it's a reduction and abuse to redemption. Because you are seeing the Almighty God bow down to the devil, that's an abuse. You don't even know what you carry. It's not enough to just make utter call. You, your eyes of understanding may be enlightened to know who you are. Now turn with me to John chapter of 10 and then I'm sure you get him blessed somewhere. John 10, 34, 35. Glory to God. Jesus answered them. It's not written in your law. I said, I said, not, not John. Ye are gods. And if you call them gods unto whom the word of God came, the scripture cannot be what? It's I said. One that was teaching and I said that scripture, a man came to me and said, are you saying I'm God? I said, I don't say so. Jesus said so. Do you know that man was arguing? He said, I can't say so. Till today that man, no sign of redemption in his life. If you don't believe it, you will never become it. I believe what Jesus said. I don't care what any theologian says. I believe what Jesus said. And I'm getting results. Guess I hear. Are you getting me? If God said you are like him, then believe it. Are you, what will a God give back to? Okay, but, uh, what will a cow give battle? What will a dog give battle? That means if Satan is a dog, what will God give battle? Simple. What did God give battle is kind, true? What will the devil give battle? The devil. That's why God said you are the children of the devil because you are behaving like the devil. Why are not human beings? They were human beings. You say you are like your father, is Satan. That arm robbers are like the devil because they, that they were human beings, they are devil. Why did Jesus refer to? Then we say, you are you, you are the sons of the devil. <laughs> Why? You are human. So also we have sons of what? God. We have sons of the devil. We have sons of God. So here. 
Now, I'm going to show you something. I'll read the Amplified Classic. That is last, Psalm 82, 5 and 6. I want you to read the Amplified Classic. Psalm 82. Look at it. It said the magistrate. You know why the Bible uses magistrates? You know, if you go to a court, let me explain to you. To you. If you go to a court, who is in charge of that court? Magistrates or judges? True. They give the final judgment. Is that true? This is what God says. He said, the art as a whole, you are the judges of the earth. Many times I say, God, 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 come down, do something. Do you know, as a story, he says, oh God, come down and manifest your power. Oh God, come down and manifest. God will be looking at you and be laughing. He's already down with you. He said, Lord, with you, always say, who come down again? He's already here. Now he's telling you to exercise authority. I start waiting for him to do it. Oh God, oh God, deal with the armor robbers. God will be laughing at you. Decree. I said, the armor robbers, you are dead. That's the wisdom of God. I want to show you. He said, the magistrates and judges know not. Neither will they understand. They walk on in the darkness of complex satisfaction. We are satisfied with all this clapping hand. All the foundations of the earth are funda- fundamental principles upon which rest the administration of justice are shaking. <laughs> I like the way. I said, God is speaking. You, you are God since you judge on my behalf as my representatives. Indeed, all of you are children of the Most High. So I hear. Wisdom demands that on this earth we don't wait for God to do something. We do things. Let me explain to you. God is saying, you are representing me. Whatever I would have done, do it. Let me give you a typical example in the Bible so you get a clear picture of what I'm saying. When Moses was to go to appear before Pharaoh, God had to change the picture of Moses. And that's what I want to do. I want to close. He said, Moses, if you go as Moses, you will miss it. The first word God told Moses in Exodus 7 verse 1, he said, see, that was see, it's not all about physical, he said, understand. He was saying, Moses, understand. That was see, it's not with eyes. He's saying, understand. And the Lord said to Moses, see, I have made you a God to what? He said, when you are going to meet Pharaoh, (laughs) that's why Moses got there and said, Pharaoh, let my, that's not the language of Moses, let my people go. God can't come down to speak here. Children of God, hear this. Anything, that wisdom is that anything God will say, you say it. Are you getting me now? Anything God will do, you do it. That's wisdom. Wisdom is not I'm waiting for God. If God is to look now, can God be on the throne today and be here? And I'm robbers be misbehaving everywhere you're living. You say, Every I'm robber that comes near my territory, I give you seven days. <laughs> Pronounce it, seven days will be dead. Moses said, If you don't let them go, let's not fall to the two to the three. I will slay thy son, even the firstborn. <laughs> God said, now you are speaking as I've sent you as my representative. And God did exactly as Moses said. Wisdom demands that you stop rejecting as a child of God. You start declaring as a son of God. You don't wait for God. God is waiting for you. He said, you are my a judge waiting for a, a clerk in the court. Wouldn't say, clerk, what do you say? Wouldn't they, wouldn't they look at the judge and say, judge, are you okay? Just imagine a, a you know, court clerk. They have court clerk. And then the judge says, so somebody says, court clerk, what is your opinion? Do I sentence this man? When you open with the court, say, judge, does he know he's right? You have been begging Satan. God said, look, by the wisdom of God, sentence the devil. Tell him, stop! You can do it, and anything you say, God will confirm. So born again is anywhere you sit, God is sitting. When you speak, God is speaking. Do you understand it now? In the spirit realm, which you are now in, you belong to the terrestrial, where everything, sickness, frustration, failure, lack, they are under you. So you are the one to issue command. He said, I command you, lack and one, get out of my territory. It will be so. I command this happen. It will be so. Are you getting me? And I'll give you the next three minutes. You exercise the authority with what you know who you are. That's wisdom. That's what? 
You will say it the way you want it. If arm robbers come near territory, just say arm robbers <laughs> that came to this territory. I give you seven days. God won't come down. There was a young man who terrorized the eastern part of Nigeria. They called this young man Osikanko. Osikanko was a terror, a kidnapper, a known notorious kidnapper. He was terrorizing the whole eastern part of Nigeria. And one day he shot a young man walking with us. And the young man escaped dead and came to tell me that, look, he was coming from a place called Aba. Aba is in the eastern path, driving down that they shot him because he refused to stop. So I came on the altar on a Thursday. And I said, and I called him by name. I didn't say, I'm Rob. I said, Osi Kanko, if you don't die this weekend, with this understanding, this is my understanding. I said, I give you this weekend. He said, last weekend, you are dead. I cost him on Thursday, Friday, he was killed. This is a young man who bullet, they said, does not enter his head. If I didn't, Sentence him, God would have killed him. If Pharaoh never, if Moses never said, Pharaoh, let my people go. <laughs> and if you don't let them go, now, now this man he gave you, you are going to declare. Another notorious young man was in River State, Nigeria, the southern, south, south part of River State, Nigeria. He shot some Christians on the 31st night. And they said, I was angry. They were coming from a vigil, the crossover service. And they called him Dawani. He's from the Omoku area of River State, Nigeria. And I said, in seven days, the one day you are dead. I call his name. The seventh day, he was killed. If you say to that devil, stop, it will stop. If you say, be blessed, be blessed. But I know it is, stop saying, God do it. God said, you nice in size authority. That is where wisdom for experts starts. You know you who you are. Are you getting me? Get off from where you're sitting down in your room. Don't sit down to the When the, I want you for the next two minutes, look at your life and issue a command. Issue what? Knowing that you are look, you don't have to vibrate. Don't feel anyhow. God loves you. He has bestowed authority upon you. Are you getting me now? Now you will look at your life, look at the future, look at, look at your environment. I want you to say something that you know. If God was to be the one, this I would have done it. How would I have now? Let me ask you a question. If God was to be your position, can I have come and go to like this? Now, if God can't do so, they're going to say, you are representing me. They say, every robber that came to my territory, I decree in seven days you are dead. Every witch, every wizard that I've been tormenting my life, now that I know where I am, I decree in three days, all of you gone. Everywhere they refuse to sign my paper, my document, I decree the name of Jesus before this time next week. This one must be signed. It will be signed. Are you getting me, sir? You are going to, you are not Pray, you know, this is not prayer. You are issuing a command representing God. Are you getting me now? That is what you call wisdom. It's not most of what we call pray. prayer is begging. We are not begging. You are giving a decree because you are representing God himself. Do you all believe now? Now go ahead wherever you are in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree. Command this to happen. Jesus mighty name I stand in my office knowing where I am in Christ and I declare everything tormenting your destiny stops in the name of Jesus whatever belongs to your destiny that has not been approved be approved right now every blessing that has eluded you in redemption be released in the name of Jesus and I pronounce you blessed from today no devil touches your life any devil planning to touch you goes down in the name of Jesus. Sickness will fall from you. Nobody sick at my voice may sick. 
I pronounce every sick healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Everyone oppressed, set free. Amen. Everyone bad and be fruitful. Amen. In every area of your life, in the name of Jesus. Amen. As I spoken, so shall it be. Amen. Students, you will do well in your academics. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Those who are not married, I decree you get married. Amen. Everyone sitting in your destiny, your promotion, get out and you'll be promoted. Amen. Be blessed wherever you are in the world. Amen. And God will give you favor. Before any sinner. In Jesus mighty name. Let somebody will believe that what you have declared. Will come to pass. Say. Say it is done. Nothing can stop it. In the name of Jesus. Now move in that consciousness wherever you go. That you are in charge. You are what? Tomorrow I will tell you very powerful. Twelve spies were sent. How come? Two had a different result. I will reveal to you tomorrow. Listen. I'm going to show you. From number 13. Two. Even the two did not deny they were giants. But something was different. They were giants. Nobody said they were not. No, it will be faith does not deny what is happening. That's not faith. Faith does not say that things are if Nigeria now things, for instance, Nigeria things are high. That you have faith, you don't say things are not high, they're high. But what do you do without panicking? The twelve of them, even the two did not say there were no giants. But there was some that made the two to have a different mindset. Are you getting me? No, nobody is denying. If somebody has cancer, he has cancer. You can't say he doesn't have cancer. He has the cancer. But what is it that will make you cancel the cancer? That's what I'm telling you tomorrow. Don't say, oh, eh, faith does not say that what is happening is not happening. That's not faith. That's, that, don't, don't ever do faith to be so. If things are expensive, they are expensive. But how come in the midst of the expensive life, how come you will not be a victim of that? Are you getting me now? In the midst, if there's sickness like COVID, COVID was existing, for instance, that I don't mean that. But you, how do you live without you being a victim of COVID? Do you understand now? I'm going to tell you. Many of us, we keep going down the way the devil speaks. But tomorrow you will just change. I say, well, I'm in charge. I'm what? I'm in, charge. I'm in charge. Don't miss tomorrow's teaching. It's going to explode. Wisdom will be on display in high dimension. Praise God. But hear this. We are taking communion. Before we take the communion, if you are not born again, you can't speak like that if you are not born. Say, if any man be in Christ... It is if any man be in church. I know many of you go to churches, but you are not in Christ. You must be born again. You must be born again. No, he said, if any man be in Christ, if any man be in church, no matter where you are going to church, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior, offer this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I've come to you. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died and rose from there to save me. Thank you, Father, for saving me. In Jesus' mighty name. If you offer that prayer wherever you are, let us know that you gave your life to Jesus and make sure you're a part of tomorrow's services, tomorrow's service, sorry, and other subsequent services. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. At 7 o'clock in the morning, we have online morning devotion. Always join to be a part. We can get revived. We are going to bless the communion before we close. Before we bless the communion, listen, I've told you already, we have tomorrow 5 p.m., Thursday 5 p.m., then online miracle service at 6 p.m. on anniversary on Saturday at 4 p.m. It's a loaded week. Is that clear? Now, but the communion, the Bible said in John 6, 54, whoso eateth my flesh and drank my blood had what? The same life. <laughs> the same what? The same life. That you have the life of God. Is that the meaning? Do you understand it? Which life? So the flesh and blood just giving you is, is rejuvenating that life of God in you. Can the life of God be in you and that sickness remain in you? Can cancer stay where the life of God is? Oh, can it stay where? Can any disease stay where the life of God is? Look at your life. Can any plague stay where the life of God is? Can any devil terminate if you take the communion? Now, with that deep inside, you are going to pray. As I take off the flesh and blood of Jesus Christ, if in your house, prepare bread, prepare biscuit, anything by faith with a uh, beverage, non alcoholic. Don't put any alcoholic. That's not communion. No. That is uh, alcoholic. Don't put any alcohol, please. Don't ever drink alcohol and say you are taking communion. Now you, you, you pray that as I partake of life, your eternal life that will come rejuvenate in me, destroy what? Human life. Anything human, sickness, cancer, is not eternal life. Disease. I've prayed for people. I prayed for two persons with communion. One had breast cancer, one had cervical cancer. And the one breast cancer, faith rose with this same scripture. The person is alive. I looked at her. I'm not about breast cancer, breast cancer that doctors have given up. And I said, do you believe you have eternal life? I said, yes. She's alive to do it. So, believe God that you can't take eternal life and this sickness stay inside of you. Do you believe? 
Now, with that faith, and you can't have eternal life, and any sickness come inside you, there are two ways. The ones who have sick, sickness must go. The ones who are not sick, sickness cannot come. Stretch your hands towards your community where you are. Pray in the name of Jesus. As I partake of your flesh and blood, I partake of your very life. In you, there can be sickness, weakness, and pain. Therefore, no disease. Pray it with authority. Establish your authority. As I partake of flesh and blood, eternal life, soul of human life in the name of Jesus. Strength is restored. Health is restored in the name of Jesus. As you partake of his flesh and blood, eternal life flows in you in the name of Jesus. Whatever is not in Jesus Christ that it was in you, I Toss it in the name of Jesus. And whatever is in him that is not in you, you receive it now. Receive strength, vitality, and health. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We say the grace and then all home centers, home fellowship, um, whole fellowship centers, you take the communion and then you can go home. You remember the service tomorrow at 5 p.m. And tomorrow's teaching will be greater than today's teaching. Far, far greater. You will find. Tomorrow you'll be swimming at another level. You, you'll be walking like this. You know, there's a way... You are confident you move like this. And if you are afraid, you move by the edge. Tomorrow you'll be moving like this. You, you, even if they should be, it's a nonsense. It's not for me. They will shoot where you are. Amen. Jesus, my dear. So you just be moving and you'll be in charge. You'll be what? You'll be in charge. So take the communion your different homes and then make sure you're in church on Wednesday, tomorrow at 5 p.m. You can also join the online morning devotion 7 a.m. in the morning. God bless you. Amen. Have a wonderful week. As we celebrate, you too will celebrate. Your blessing will overflow. In Jesus' name. The grace together, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet flow of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. God bless you.